Greetings, viewership. Welcome to another edition of Final Fantasy VI T Edition. This time we are returning to the ancient castle and unsealing the 12 legendary weapons and seeing what value they have to us now that we've beaten some of the toughest fights in the game. Let's begin. Yes, we hold the crystal and get this thing. Now you don't need to get all four crystals before coming here. I just chose to because I felt comfortable with my power level and I just wanted to get all these weapons at the same time to save some time. Yeah, you know the drill by now. We're basically opening the display case and getting this thing. Most or all of these weapons were also legendary weapons in Final Fantasy V, and this is a reference to Final Fantasy V. Well, let's see what we can do with these. And the Ragnarok is already better. Sometimes this is a random dance effect. Well... Makes her slightly slower. But she has a higher magic. Doing it for the magic of it. The Spear of Death, the one that pierced Christ's side when he was on the cross. And as for this, yeah, this stuff just doesn't seem very appealing. We've already been to. Forbidden Land of Eureka. But sure, we'll... T yeah, we'll take Soul Eater. Because of the magical evasion. Yeah, for some legendary weapons, these just seemed very disappointing. Well, let's see how well these things work on the rest of the team. 
can go ahead and fast forward to the point where we're back in the airship. Give us a moment. Well, on the upside, it seems to grant auto-haste and the effects of the normal move. But the Murakumo does more damage. The Oracolum. Well... It helps with steel rate, so it's basically a thief bracer. Elven Dart gives us well basically four times attack, so Aura Column plus Elven Dart equals good steals. The God Hand guarantees a hit if we're using it. But, eh. Mjolnir? It ain't terrible, but I'm just not enthused. Setzer gets access to the Elven Dark. What about you? What about you and what about you? Okay, the Dragon Whisker. Maybe useful, but the Wizard Rod does more magical damage. Just in case we want to do even more magic damage with all time. Realm still gets the Dragon Whisker. Still gets the Wizard Rod. Still gets the Diamond Bell. Sorry, still gets the Rune Bell. So, if I were reliably using these guys, then maybe it would be worth it. Um, Gungnir? We bought this one. And it's debatably better than the Holy Lance, the Spear of Destiny. Earthbreaker. Wow, it reduces evasion by 20. Yolnir? Sure. These legendary weapons were so old in the game that they expired, like milk. Well, everyone, that concludes this episode. Next time, we'll be doing something more interesting. Thank you, everyone. Good night, and God bless.